So who do you think Andy should target as their next quarterback, Pierce? Should we trade for Jimmy G here? They've got nothing to trade. They're going to have to go to the free agent market. So Trubisky, Bridgewater, maybe they can, you know, pull Winston away from the Saints. But they just – they don't have the personnel to, to make a move. I mean, they could trade somebody, but that's going to make them worse. And they don't have the draft picks to move. Their best pick is 42nd. So if they target a quarterback in the draft – I just don't see a quarterback dropping at this point. We've seen the value of these quarterbacks. We saw what someone got from Wentz. We saw what Russell Wilson brought in. So if the value of quarterback is going up, and each day the supply of quarterbacks going lower, these quarterbacks in the draft are going to get up into the top 10, if not the top five. And if for some reason a quarterback falls to the second round, that's a huge red flag. That is a bad quarterback. And that guy's probably not going to start snap one of next season. Uh, Reed, what do you think? Also, something to note, uh, the Colts' odds to win the Super Bowl went from plus 2,500 to plus 3,000. AFC plus 1,400 to plus 1,600. In the AFC South, um, their odds didn't change. It was plus 140, plus 140. Yeah, addition by subtraction. Uh, but, yeah, look, I mean, we talked about it, Jeff and I, with Emerson yesterday. I talked about some of the wild card moves that the Colts could make. Jimmy G is obviously out there. Kirk Cousins is a name that's, that's been thrown around. He's got one year left on his contract in Minnesota. I, I doubt that they that they deal him. Jordan Love, which I'm sure uh, Jeff's going to talk about in a little bit. But I'll mention Derek Carr, right? Because if you're the Raiders, I know Josh McDaniels has said that, that that's his quarterback. But there is an outside chance. There's an outside chance that McDaniels looks at the draft this year and says, nah, looks at the draft attention in the next couple of years. And if you can acquire some draft picks from Indy, which, you know, I, I don't I don't know. <laughs> well, they have, they've acquired some. They could do that because right now your quarterbacks still available are Jimmy G, right? Uh, who else? Marcus Mariota, Gardner Minshew. I'm sure Jeff's going to mention Nick Foles and Mitch Trubisky. Those are your quarterbacks that are available, if not grabbing someone away like Derek Carr. So that's an outside shot, but I think Jimmy G is probably the most likely scenario. Uh, Jeff, Jordan Love was reportedly a hot target of the Colts back in 2020 when they didn't have a first round pick. There he, is. he was, he was, he's definitely connected a little bit to the Colts. And, and I think that is an option. I mean, Indianapolis is in a weird spot here. They have, they have the money to spend, but it's like going into a store and everything's out. Like, you know, we got supply chain issues here at the quarterback <laughs> position, just like we do in the rest of the world right now. So. Yeah, and Pierce is right. Like, they don't have a top draft pick. I think what they need to do, and I think what you may see Indianapolis do, is pull an L.A. Rams and legitimately just go, okay, we, we've got the team. We've got a good team. We've got a good head coach we like. We think we're close. Let's trade everything we have. I don't care if it's four, three, four years, whatever the max is you can go. I can't remember. But I think you may see the Colts try and do something like that. And they may go after Matt Ryan in that situation. Now, it's going to be harder to do. I mean, the, the the Falcons, you'd have to give up a pretty nice package because they're not exactly saving a ton of money if they do trade Matt Ryan because of the dead cap hit and all that stuff. But if you offer them an attractive enough package, it could work. Um, you know, Reed joked about Nick Foles, but like Nick Foles over, over Jimmy G, I mean, like it's probably going to cost them less at the very least. He's a type of quarterback like Nick Foles is definitely in play for the Colts next year. I do think that they'll probably try and be more aggressive and go after like a Jordan Love if they can't get a Matt Ryan deal done. So there's a lot of different options for the Colts. It really just depends on what their organizational psyche is right now. Are they ready to go all in and pull an LA Rams? Or are they just going to try and maybe get a young quarterback like Jordan Love and develop them? That's not a bad scenario either, but lots of options. The Colts are a team to watch right now. They could go in so many different directions. Yeah, that Philly team has, I mean, those quarterbacks in that quarterback room have been on like 17 different teams in the last three years, right? Nick Foles has been on like, what, four teams in the last three years? Like, I, I to, to your point though, Jeff, yes, that does make a lot of sense. He's much, he's much cheaper than Carson Wentz, right? And they've both been traveling all over the place. Super so. Bowl winner. Yeah, I joke about Nick Foles, but it's probably the cheapest option.